Today is the deadline for developers to begin cleaning those graffiti covered towers in downtown LA or else the city will take over. The buildings have been a haven for taggers and people pulling crazy social media stunts like jumping off the building with a parachute. Eyewitness News reporter Eric Resendiz has more on the repercussions the building's owners could face if no action is taken. The future of the viral graffiti towers in downtown Los Angeles has been somewhat set by the City of Angels. The building located at 12th and South Flower Streets made headlines in recent weeks due to the extensive tagging up and down its roughly 25 floors. The City Council voted to allocate $3.8 million to get the place cleaned up and secured. That includes a custom-made metal barrier that will go around the site. It'll be at least 10 feet from the ground on up, and hopefully it's, you know, our great desire, obviously, and the city's desire to deter any individual who may climb, scale, and go up there and, and may slip, fall to his or her death. Construction of the three-tower complex halted in 2020 as the Chinese developers went bankrupt. While the high-rise that was under construction has been the main target of taggers, it's not the only target. As exciting as it was to see them put all the graffiti up in this abandoned building, I did notice that then graffiti starts appearing on other local businesses and, and fronts and windows and yeah. things like that. And I think that certainly is a, a bit of an issue. The city says they will give the bill to the owners of the building oceanwide development to pay for the overall cost to remove the graffiti and secure the site. The city plans to hire private security to guard the area instead of using police officers. We cannot have our very own LAPD babysitting this building. It's unfair to, to voters, to citizens throughout the city of LA uh, who pay their taxes and we shouldn't be babysitting this uh, building. Council member Kevin DeLeon says there's conversations about what to do with the building if the owners don't step in to take matters into their own hands. There are conversations that are taking place right now. I can't go into the details, but I will say that there is some interest, without a doubt, strong interest in purchasing this piece of property. And Council Member Kevin DeLeon says once crews have finished removing the scaffolding, then they will start installing the metal barrier, which could happen next week. We have reached out to Oceanwide Development for a statement. As of now, we have not heard back. In downtown Los Angeles, Eric Resendiz, ABC 7 Eyewitness News. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC 7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel. And download the ABC 7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.